it. Here's another sign that the economy is on the rocks. The American Trucking Association says that there's a major slowdown in shipping since this time last year. I'm going to bring in Bob Costello, chief economist of the American Trucking Association. Bob, thank you so much for coming on the show. My pleasure. So I'm sure you heard the report before you. We were talking about how earnings growth is really slowing down here in the U.S. and companies are beginning to struggle when they had been the thing that was sort of holding everything together. Are you seeing evidence right. of that through your business in the trucking industry? Oh, sure, seeing that. You know, if you look at where freight was in terms of the amount of tonnage we were shipping, uh, at the end of last year through June of this year, we're off 4.4%. Now, we're still growing on a year-over-year -year basis, but that rate has really come down to just over 3% from almost 6% growth last year. So we have definitely seen a slowdown so far this year in freight volumes. And what are businesses telling you? Why aren't they shipping as much? Are they not seeing demand? Are they, what's, what's going on? I'll tell you, they're nervous. They're very nervous. And over and over when I talk to these companies, uh, especially the bigger ones, they have some money to spend. They have some money to spend on new capital to hire new people, but they don't want to. They are so nervous about this fiscal cliff and what's going to happen, as well as Europe, but this fiscal cliff has got them scared, and they're just holding on because they don't want to be out on that limb if the whole thing implodes on us. Wait, it's hard for me to imagine people saying that to you when you're asking them about their shipments. Do they use the phrase fiscal cliff, or what exactly they, they, are they saying? They really... They really do. Really? And you know, so I'm talking to trucking companies who are talking to their uh, customers, right? Manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, and everybody's nervous. And so what they, they don't want to do is they don't want to take any risks, right? So, and the other thing that we saw, as brought up in your last segment, is the economy was very anemic in the second quarter. And what that led to was this rise unintentional rise in inventories, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, inventories are still low compared to where they were during the uh, recession, but that was unintentional, and that's also got them holding off, not ordering as much, and yeah. therefore, when trucks aren't hauling quite no, as much as they were. that absolutely makes sense, and a lot of people are saying that, that this slowdown, even though it was growth, it was so much slower than the previous quarters, going from better than 4% growth to 2 to down to 1.5, right. that a lot, people were surprised by that, and they're even more nervous than they were before. What else do you measure besides tonnage? What other indicators are there for you? Ooh. Yeah, we also look at the number of loads because when you look at uh, tonnage, you know, certain sectors like housing can count for a lot and so forth. It's exactly what we've seen. You know, the, the small, it's been small, but the little bit of a turnaround in housing starts as well as the boom in U.S. energy has really kind of boosted tonnage compared to the number of loads. The number of loads so far this year are only up about 2%. And if you look at your just normal dry van box trailer, not refrigerated, not flatbed like for housing or steel and not the tank trucks, that freight's actually starting to contract. Yeah, so what's your on a year over year basis. going forward from here? What do you see for the next quarter and beyond? Well, you know, I'm still hopeful that we can just edge out a little bit of growth, but I'll tell you, um, I'm really curious to see what uh, July has for us. You know, the other thing that's kind of been weird this year is we had such a warm weather. I wonder if that pulled some business forward in the year, and now it's weaker. But, but certainly, uh, businesses, uh, households, they're nervous, yeah. and when you're nervous, you don't take risks, and therefore you don't buy as much. And we, we haul 70% we haul of the tonnage out there, so we're a good reflection yeah. of the macroeconomy. Bob Costello, some great insight and very responsive to the whole question-answer thing. Thank you so much for coming on. We Thank appreciate you. it.